السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ عید کے موقع پہ چلو بناتے ہیں عید کی اسپیشل مٹن بریانی تو چلو شروع کرتے ہیں بریانی کا مٹن مسالہ ہم کوکر میں بنا لیتے ہیں تو ایڈ ٹو ففٹی گرامز آف آئل ان اے کوکر وین دا آئل بیکمز ہاٹ ایڈ تھری ٹو فور ایچ آف سنمن کارڈمم اینڈ کلوز دال چینی لونگ اور الائچی آلسو ایڈ ایک بڑا سا بے لیف اور ایک اسٹار انیس پھول ایڈ کیجیے سوٹی فار لٹل وائل اینڈ دین ایڈ سیون ہینڈ فلس آف سلائسڈ انینس دس از فار ون کے جی آف رائس اینڈ ون کے جی آف مٹن سوٹی ٹل دیئر نائز اینڈ گولڈن براؤن ہیئر ایف یو ہیو براؤن انینس آلریڈی اسٹور یو کین یوز دیم فار گارنشنگ ایلس ایٹ دس پوائنٹ وین یو ہیو ایڈ انینس ایڈ ٹو انینس مو سو دیٹ وین یو فرافٹ یو فرائی دی انینس یو کین ریموو دیم فار گارنشنگ نو فرائی دی انینس ٹل گولڈن براؤن وین دی انینس آر ہاف ڈن ایڈ تھری ٹو فور گرین چلی سلپڈ اینڈ ہاف اے ہینڈ فل آف کوریانڈر اینڈ پودینا لیوس منٹ لیوس ناؤ دی انینس آر نائز اینڈ گولڈن براؤن ایڈ two heaped tablespoons full of ginger and garlic paste and saute till the raw smell goes. Now add four tablespoons of chili powder, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and two teaspoons of salt. This is for one kg of mutton. If you find the masala sticking to the bottom of the pan, add a few tablespoons of water and saute well. The oil has left the sides. Now let's add the tomatoes. Add five tomatoes chopped and saute well and cook till the tomatoes become soft. Masala achhe se bhun gaya hai. So now let's add one kg of mutton. Each piece is of 80 to 100 grams. Keep sauteing as and when you add an ingredient. Sauteing is the most important thing in a very tasty dish. Pakwan to ho hi jata hai. But as you, if you keep sauteing and you saute well till the oil leaves the sides, har ingredient add karne ke baad, but the taste is altogether different. Now add a juice of half a lemon and add the potatoes. If they are very big, cut them into half. If they are medium sized, add them whole. Mix well. I have added half a kg of potatoes. Now add three-fourth cup of beaten curd. Mix well. Do not add any water at all. Close the cooker and pressure cook for four whistles. Four whistles ke baad, let the pressure come down on its own. Open the lid and let's check whether the potatoes and the mutton is done. To alu check kar lete hain pehle. Potato is nice and soft. Mutton is also nicely done. If you wish the mutton and the potatoes to not be this soft, you can give Pressure cook for three whistles. Now remove all the extra masala oil to a different bowl which we will use later for garnishing. Masala is ready. Now let's make the rice. Ek bada sa patila lijiye. Add plenty of water because we will anyway be draining the rice. Also add half a handful of coriander mint leaves, two green chilies. Squeeze out the juice of half a lemon. Add 5 teaspoons of salt that is 1 teaspoon for every 250 grams of rice so we have 1 kg plus 1 teaspoon extra because we will strain the rice also add a pinch of yellow color cover and allow the water to boil take 3 fourth cup of uh, warm to hot milk add a few strands of saffron mix and keep it aside the water has started to boil let's add the washed and drained rice cover and let it cook for 7 to 8 minutes let's check the rice it's been 8 minutes if the rice take it between your two fingers if it breaks into half that's more than enough 75 to 80 percent cooked the rest will cook on dum strain the rice and keep it aside and let's get the vessel ready for assembling the biryani i'm using the same vessel in which i cooked the rice add a ladle of masala oil then add a layer of rice spread it around properly and then cover it with a with half the masala then again a layer of rice once again and then 
the remaining masala and finally cover it with the remaining rice see that the masala is completely covered with the rice always end with a layer of rice now sprinkle 2 to 3 ladles of oil all over the rice if there is still masala oil left you can store it in a small container and use it for making curries for the garnish with fried onions also sprinkle the saffron milk that we had kept aside as a final touch add kutmir and pudina's mint and coriander leaves also arrange two green chilies over that now make two to three holes in the biryani and add 3 to 4 tablespoons of ghee into those holes cover and leave it on them 5 minutes on high 20 minutes on low the addition of ghee gives a nice aroma and flavor to the biryani do not forget to keep a tawa under the vessel close the lid tight and let it be on them for at least 20 minutes mutton biryani is now ready please do try it out ingredients as always mentioned in the description box goes very well with baigan ka khatta and hamara eid ka special sweet sheer khurma in dono ka link maine niche diya hua hai in the description box do try it out thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel